how are you? Welcome to my channel. My name is Ruth and today I am doing yet another project pan intro. There's going to be a lot of these in January. Just FYI. <laughs> uh, this one I couldn't resist because again it's another musical one. Um, so I'm already doing panning punk which is very musical themed and then this one I saw um, Mary, I don't know if I'm pronouncing your name right, I'm so sorry if I'm not, uh, from Patriot Makeup and she was talking about this and I was just like yes 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 that sounds like a low flying aircraft odd um helicopter actually see squirrel and i'm off um but what i was saying is i saw her video her introduction video to this so she put up a video kind of saying that she was going to be starting this in january and what it was going to be and i'll link that video below because it's brilliant but i was like you are a girl after my own heart and I can't wait to do this and like I have so many makeup products in so many other projects already earmarked so I will be honest this is probably going to be a skincare heavy project at the start at least anyway until I kind of see how I'm working through other products but anyway I'm getting ahead of myself so it's a rolling style uh, project so we have she, ha she has prompts from each decade going from the 40s right up to now and um, there's monthly updates and like I said it's rolling style so you pick a song from each decade that she has in her list and you put a project to or product to it <laughs> I'm sorry and then once you finish that you pick another prompt from the decade does that make sense watch Mary's video because she just it's brilliant I love it so let me get into what I've picked and like I said if you need to understand more definitely head over to her video because obviously she explains it way better um, it runs from January 2nd 2022 to January 3rd 2023 and um, so yeah so my first product so I have the 1940s let me just get myself I'm so unorganized bear with me um 1940s somewhere over the rainbow by judy garland is the song that i have picked and uh for that it was a colorful item so i have chosen the soap and glory uh the scrub of your life smoothing body scrub and as you can see it's a beautiful bright pink color all their patterns are so fun and what i love about soap and glory's products if you're new to my channel hi how are you i'm very sensitive to smells and get migraines very easily from them um and this doesn't do that soap and glory's products even though they have a lovely scent to them they're quite subtle and they don't seem to hit me in that area that causes migraine so love it so that's a completion goal i want to finish that up um and it's full it's right up to the top brand new god of christmas so yeah that is first uh, next up is the 1950s and I chose uh, Walk the Line by Johnny Cash love Johnny Cash just I think is it Folsom I think Folsom is my favourite I do like Walk the Line as well but I just I love him uh, I love oh my god he does Heart by Nine Inch Nails just epic uh, for that it was an eyeliner or a lip liner and I have chosen an eyeliner very brave of me I do say so myself. I have chosen the NYX Epic Ink Liner. And you're saying, Ruth, but sure, how is that brave? I don't do liquid liner, but I want to. I want to be better at it. And this is the perfect excuse for me to try. It looks like a brush tip, maybe. Look at it. I ain't no professional. I don't know. I don't even know what the difference is. A felt, a felt tip and a, and a brush tip. Uh, this is from the Money Heist collection that Nick's brought out if you don't know what money heist is it's an awesome show on uh, netflix that i love so my husband absolutely love it and um god bless her my niece walked in she was living with us for a while excuse me while she was training to be a paramedic she's still training but um she walked in one day and roots there screaming bella ciao bella ciao bella and she's like what is going on <laughs> so she very she she kind of clicked into what i was saying and i had said that I, i'd seen the collection at boots but i was trying not to buy stuff so she bought me this and she bought me the eyeshadow palette i was so excited ridiculously excited as you can tell by the way i'm tripping over my words <laughs> uh, i'm bringing this in and my usage goal on this is 22 so this could be in for quite a while but we're hoping people we're hoping by the end of the 22 uses i'll be professional a professional eyeline wearer i'll have wings bigger than amy winehouse god rest her wish me luck 
Uh, next up is the 1960s and I chose Sitting on the Dock of the Bay by Otis Redding. One of the greatest songs of all time. I adore it. I adore Otis Redding. I adore Sam Cooke. I, lo I love Motown and that kind of era. Love it. Uh, item that makes you feel chill. And what I've chosen is a face mask because I feel like if I'm wearing a face mask, typically if I'm putting on a face mask, I'm either in the bath or I'm lying on the bed watching YouTube videos. It's one or the other. I don't uh, put on a mask and go off and do jobs around the house. That's not me. If I'm putting it on, it's to relax. So the one I'm bringing in is the Boots uh, Glow Gel Mask for healthy looking glow and intense hydration. I won't lie, it's not my absolute favourite. I don't think it does a whole lot, but I enjoy it enough to use it up. So if you can see, this is where I'm at at the moment and I want to use it up completely. Um, so yeah, that is coming in for that prompt. Uh, next up is the 70s and I picked September by Earth, Wind and Fire. Oh my God, I just I love it. I just love that song. I'm just in my head now, I'm like, <laughs> um, I love disco. I loved Earth, Wind and Fire. I loved Donna Summers. I loved uh, Boney M. Oh my God, I love Boney M. Love it. Uh, so an item that makes you feel good. And what I've chosen for that is Hyaluronic Acid Serum because I always feel like my skin loves it. It soaks it up, drinks it up, put on some spray, put on another layer. Just, mm, my skin just loves it. And it makes me feel good then because my skin looks good. Um, and this is the Isentry Hyaluronic Acid Water Essence. Beautiful. I got this um, from Stylvana before Christmas. My sister had given me some moolah to buy some items and um, I picked up this and obviously my Cosrx Snail Mucin Essence, which I hardcore love. Uh, but I was mad to try Isentry because I know Courtney loves it. So I was like, oh, and the bottle, oh, she's gorgeous. I know packaging isn't everything, but it is It is nice to have nice packaging. Um, so yeah, we're right up here. I've used it a few times just to make sure that my skin is okay with it, and it is. Uh, and I'm going to use this up. To be honest, I tear through hyaluronic acid because I do tend to layer it up. I just can't get enough of it. I love it. It's one of the best things to introduce into my skincare routine. I know now it's kind of fallen from grace a little bit. It's not uh, the hero product that it was. And uh, people are kind of saying, oh, is it really good for your skin? I can only go by what my skin likes and it loves it. We're going for the 80s now and we've got doom, doom, doom. Another one bites the dust. Queen, love them, love them, love them. Lads, I wouldn't do this project if I didn't love everything that was in it. But Queen, adore them. Radio Gaga, I think, was one of my first songs that I think I went, Oh, I really like music. This is a really cool song. I just was addicted. That and uh, Prince 1999. That was my first. My brother bought me that. Well, I'm sure he bought it for himself, but I claimed it as my own. <laughs> uh, as a small, do you remember the, a lot of you probably don't, but the small, uh, were the EPs they were called. So it wasn't the size of a full record, but it was a, just a single. And um, yeah, it was Prince 1999. Anyway. She's off again. Uh, a product that's almost gone. And I have chosen the Inky List uh, Peptide Moisturiser. And this is my third one of these. Another moisturiser that I really, really enjoy, I have to say. And I think I will repurchase again because, look at if my skin enjoys it, I'm going to repurchase it. It's as simple as that. I've been, since I'm in cruelty free, I have struggled to find replacements for what were my kind of go to products. So I think I'm finally getting there, getting into, you know, a real good routine that suits me. Um, it's hard to see, you can't see through this, but I have been using it for a couple of months now, so I'm guessing we must be near the end. Maybe not, maybe there's loads left in it, but yeah, this is going to be my product of choice for that one. Uh, now we are into the 90s, and for that I've chosen Nothing Else Matters by Metallica. Oh, that song, take out the singing and, you know, all the, the guitar in that song. Just glorious. An item you'll miss when it's gone. Uh, I have chosen the L'Oreal Color Riche Shine uh, Lipstick in the shade 658 Topless. And the reason I'll miss it when it's gone is because L'Oreal, unfortunately, are not cruelty free. And this range of lipsticks in um, altogether I've really enjoyed and I will really miss. They're definitely ones I would repurchase. I finished up two of these lipsticks in different shades last year and this is the last one I have in my collection and it's a lovely kind of brownie pink kind of shade which is perfect for the old uh, 
90s renaissance that is going on at the moment so yeah i'm bringing that in and i want to use it 22 times apologies next door's dog is back in the house down uh, so 22 uses on that one uh, next up is the noughties and we've got uh, outcast so fresh and so clean oh my god don't sing ruth people would just go click out of that video she's just a crazy lady items that make you feel put together and this actually ties into the last one i'm choosing lip liner always i can't wear lipstick without lip liner i need it and and even if i'm not wearing lipstick i'll wear a lip liner i just like to i think it's because as i get older so, but i've always loved lip liner but i just find it defines the lips i feel like i have a bit of a small mouth and since bell's palsy it can get very lopsided um so yeah, lip liner is an essential and really makes me feel like, you know, my my look is complete. And this is from CYO, which was a brand in Boots. It was one of Boots' own brands. Excuse me, my sinuses are so bad, I do apologise. Uh, this is the lip liner in Tripper. And you will see it matches just beautifully with that lipstick. They'll go nicely together, nice brown colour. Now, look at this pencil. Just from a distance there or even up close like would you not think that that is a sharpenable pencil well let me tell you boys and girls it is not so this has gone down and i said i tried see the bottom here I tried the bottom here i said right well maybe, maybe it's a twist up no no it's not a twist up this part is twisting nothing is happening so i'll sharpen it yeah it's definitely not sharpenable it's plastic and not the kind of plastic like the color pop ones Wait for it. Oh, now she's turning up. So you have to use the, the whole way down at the bottom. I know that's not what you're here for, but I was very vexed by that because my pencil is now ruined. But anywho, 22 uses. Get over it, Ruth. Move on. <laughs> uh, next up is the 2010s. And I have chosen Tennessee Whiskey by Chris Stapleton. Fun fact. Is it fun? Probably not, but fact nonetheless, my maiden name is Stapleton, so I had to choose him. Um, item that feels smooth or makes your skin look smooth, and I have chosen the glycolic acid uh, from the Inkylist. This is my toner. Um, I have had this in this room ready to 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 my video for about three days now, so I just haven't got around to it, and uh, my face has been incredibly sore. Um, but so that means I haven't used this for three nights in a row. My skin is just not happy. It's, it, I can feel texture. It's not spotty or anything like that, but texture. I can feel texture that I don't normally have. So that really tells me when you stop using something for a few days and you notice certain things about your skin, you're like, well, you need to come back into my routine fairly quick, smart buddy. Uh, we're right down here. So look, there isn't much left in it, but I wanted to get something in. I need some give me products in some of my projects otherwise i'm going to feel like i'm getting nowhere and i like rolling in stuff when it's prompt based pro or projects like this uh last but by no means least is 2020s and i chose skate by anderson pack bruno mars and silk sonic item you would wear at the roller rink or while roller skating if i was going to the roller rink chances are i'll fall down a lot just is what it is people therefore i would require protection you'll see where i'm going Ergo, I am bringing in SPF, sun protection. Do you see what I did there? Do you see what I did there? Genius, I know, I know. Um, I have the Garnier Amber Solaire uh, anti dryness and our Super UV 50 plus UVS, UVA, blah, blah, blah. SPF, you know what I'm saying? Caroline Harnes spoke about this at the start of last spring, summer kind of time, and you couldn't get it for love nor money. Couldn't get it anywhere it just sold out straight away that woman has some power um finally got it it's very pleasant i have to say um so this is coming in now i won't lie i won't be using it every day because i don't go outside every day and i'm not sitting in direct sunlight or anything like that and i feel it's unnecessary to be putting my skin through that but any day that i am leaving the house this will be going on um and the goal on this is to use it up i won't lie this is probably gonna take a while guys but look at I had to put some challenging products in as well as some easy ones. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed this intro. I love this project. Well done. 
genius i love it um but that's it guys i really hope you enjoyed this intro uh if it's your first time to my channel i would love if you would subscribe it would make my day i would be thrilled thrilled i tell you um but yeah hopefully i'll chat you in the next one take care bye Sloan.